Pastorville Bethel Lutheran Church located in Green Valley. Today is the 18th of December. It's a Friday, and because it's a Friday, it's time for Friday Funnies, right, Noah? What do you have for us? Why did the child keep his trumpet in the snow? Some guy kept his trumpet in the snow? No idea. Why? Because he liked cool music. Okay. What else you got? People ask for it, they give it, but nobody seems to take it. What is it? Not a clue. Advice. Ah, uh, yes. Very good, Noah. Thank you. Please pray with me. Lord, you are closer to us than our own breathing, nearer than our hands and feet, and you know how busy that we often become each day. If we forget you, do not forget us. We thank you for your love always. Amen. Our reading for today is from the seventh chapter of John. It begins with the 40th verse. On hearing his words, some of the people said, Surely this man is a prophet. Others said, He is the Messiah. Still others asked, How can the Messiah come from Galilee? Does not Scripture say that the Messiah will come from David's descendants and from Bethlehem, the town where David lived? Thus the people were divided because of Jesus. Some wanted to seize him, but no one laid a hand on him. Finally, the temple guards went back to the chief priests and the Pharisees, who asked them, Why didn't you bring him in? No one ever spoke the way this man does, the guards replied. You mean he has deceived you also? The Pharisees retorted. Have any of the rulers of the Pharisees believed in him? No. But this mob that knows nothing of the law, there is a curse on them. Nicodemus, who had gone to Jesus earlier, and who was one of their own number, asked, Does our law condemn a man without first hearing him to find out what he has been doing? They replied, Are you from Galilee too? Look into it, and you will find that a prophet does not come out of Galilee. Here ends our reading. is crying into wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord. He'll come with justice and set captives free, mighty is the Lord. Listen, O children of promise from the prophets of old. He'll send the Savior of the world. And I say, prepare the way. Prepare the way. Prepare the way of the Lord. Prepare the way. Prepare the way. Prepare Messiah, have mercy on my world. Save me from darkness, bring me to light. Hear my cry, O oh Lord, for you. And I say Prepare the way Prepare 
selection, it brings back to mind a memory uh, of mine. Uh, it was when I served a church out in the eastern portion of the United States some years ago, and I remember being in a confirmation class and asking the question, uh, can anybody tell me what they think uh, the word Christ means, or, or what is Christ? And a young boy kind of bravely put his hand up and said, well, isn't it the last name of Jesus? And even now I think about that kind of brings back a chuckle that we think that Christ is, or us, a person might consider that, you know, Jesus Christ, his last name. Jesus was his first name. But Christ is a great title, and it comes from a Greek word which means the anointed. And here we have it reflected in our reading how Jesus is indeed the anointed one, the Messiah, who has come to save. We have people in our selection here in our passage, they are really worried about him because they're concerned that he's going to bring down the understanding of what their order is and what they are doing in life. He's going to kind of spoil things for them. And indeed, the plans that Jesus has and had for this world, they challenge our status quo. And they cause us to rethink what we do and who we are and what is important in life. Just as he challenged the people of Israel at that time. So Jesus challenges us today to consider how important our faith is, how important the gospel is in our lives. May you always be challenged, and may you always see the place of the gospel in your life as you share it with others. Amen. We pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord of life be with you now and always. Amen.